Hey, have you all ever seen one of these? This is an electric blower, so kind of like a can of air or a rocket blower if you're a PC guy or work on camera stuff. It's a USB-C charged electric blower from Nightcore, the BB2 electronic blower. Are these things any good? Let's take a look. So the price of this seems to be around 80 to 90 dollars, which compared to some alternatives seems a little high, but we're not talking about just price, we're going to talk about value and a few other things later on in this video. But first, let's check out some build quality and usability. So one thing about these products that I always consider is how intuitive and easy is it to use and in this case, it's pretty easy. Um, I found it pretty intuitive to use right out of the box. Um, there's a couple modes here, silent, optical, and turbo. I was a little bit worried to use turbo on my cameras, but for most things, you can use any setting depending on your needs. So, once you have it set to one of those three positions, you just hit the power button, and it turns on. That was turbo. Um, a few other things, um, there's a light on this light. This was the thing that took me a second to figure out, but it, I did figure it out. So, essentially you wanna have it on the lock area where nothing happens. You hold your power button on the side down and you switch it one position, boop, and now you have a flashlight to help. So, one, that's great for seeing the dust when you're actually cleaning. And I've also used it just as a flashlight. You know, this is always in my bag nowadays. And I've been at weddings before and can't find something in my bag at a dark reception. And boom, instead of using my phone or happen to find a flashlight, I now have something that is a blower and a flashlight. So I guess that's pretty cool. Um, and so you just, oh, and to turn that flashlight off, you just turn it back to the lock position. A few more features, there's a brush. Boom, you get this little brush. You know, you get those dust particles that are a little bit more stubborn. You can brush those off while or before blowing them off with the blower. And this thing actually also comes out so you can be a little archeologist and dust stuff off uh, without having it connected. But I'm a little worried I'm gonna lose this thing. So I usually just let it magnetize back in there and try not to take it out too much. So you'll see by the power button, there's also USB-C charging like any good modern appliance. And you can also, one last thing about the build quality is you can take this thing off and you can see the fan here. So if anything is caught up or stuck there, you need to clean it. There you go. I don't know how it would, but they just say don't operate it without the filter on. So. So testing out the actual effectiveness of this thing, I decided to go two routes. I decided to do the sort of PC gamer route by cleaning out my keyboard and also cleaning off a new camera and lens I've picked up recently and seeing how that goes. So let's start off with that keyboard. And as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, it's working pretty well. I just blew a ton of stuff out of my keyboard with this, like, cause it gets under there for like, not Mac laptop keyboards. And like, dude, so much hair. Like I don't even have hair, where did this come from? But I'm glad it's gone now, I guess. I think we'll also take a look on how it works with this lens here. If you can see, it's actually got a pretty dusty front element here. So, if it's the metal body of the lens, I would sometimes use the brush here, but on glass, I probably wouldn't. So you know, let's just see how well B can blow off some of these dust particles on the optical setting. Not bad, I'm gonna switch to turbo real quickly. And it seems like it's actually done a pretty good job. It's not 100% perfect. The tiny little fine particles that are stuck a little more are still there, but those ones won't cause nearly as much of an issue in your image as those really big particles we just took care of. 
And yeah, while it didn't get every single little dust particle off of the lens, a can of compressed air, which I wouldn't really use on cameras and lenses anyway, or a rocket blower, wouldn't have got those fine particles either. So that's a two-step process if you really want to completely clean your lenses of those fine particles. You're going to want to get a, you know, one of those microfiber cloths as well. So it's a quick and easy fix, but it's not going to be 100% effective every time, but still you're getting the vast majority of that stuff off that lens. So let's get back to the discussion of like value and is it worth it? So I'd say the main two things that I've been thinking about this blower in relationship to would be sort of like a can of compressed air you see for like PC cleaning and electronics and then those rubber rocket blowers. So let's go rubber rocket blowers first for our camera people since those cans of air, not really something you necessarily want to use on cameras. They're just a little bit too strong and I don't know. I've never wanted to use them on like lenses or sensors especially. So rocket blowers, you got the big ones, you got the small ones. Personally, I've never been a huge fan. I mean, they work pretty well, but the small ones, sometimes they feel like they don't have enough oomph to really get that dust gone. And then the big ones, they're always just the wrong shape. You know, I they're round, so you can't really fit anything else by them. They're just a little longer than they really should be. And so I find that little like, nozzle at the end to be sticking out a little bit too much and they're all they're pretty effective i'm not gonna lie but i don't know they just always were a little too bulky or awkward or round or long or whatever to really get me to take it with me so i'll use them back at my house i'll use them when i'm home to clean my camera gear to blow dust off of it but i really don't find myself taking it out in the field that much that is the difference, I guess, between that and this electronic blower where I feel like, one, the ability for it to also turn into a flashlight for certain dark situations, as well as the fact that it's more boxy, square, and a lot smaller, makes it really easy to fit in like right next to an H1 audio recorder or, you know, a lens or things like that. And it just feels like it fits better when I pack it away and that's really a big deal for me. So the form factor and the shape and the size of it makes me bring it along more than I really ever brought along any of the old rocket blowers. So I would say if you got the budget for it, it definitely is something you're gonna keep around longer, take care of better, not lose, and it does just as good or not better of a job. When it comes to cans of compressed air, I think they're probably, what, like eight, 10 bucks, something like that. So if you are a PC guy um, about to use this thing for computer stuff, electronics, things like that, if you think you're ever gonna buy more than eight to 10 compressed air cans in your life, just buy this instead. Compressed air might be a little bit stronger, but I mean, when this thing's on turbo mode, it's probably like 80% of the way there, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, obviously your alternatives to an electric blower are gonna be cheaper, uh, but are they gonna be more effective? Are you gonna hang on to them more and longer? Probably not. I've lost a ton of blowers. Um, I've gone through tons of cans of air in my day, and now that I've got this for my PC, for my computer, for my glasses, and for my cameras, as well as a built-in flashlight and brush. Yeah, I think I'm convinced that these things are right for most people. If you can swing it, they're a great gift for photographers, they're a great gift to yourself, and I'm actually just surprised that this thing, I like this thing as much as I do. I think it's pretty good value if you're someone prone to buying lots of cans of air, losing or not taking those rubber blowers with you and it's just cool. I, I like it. What else can you say? Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Check out those links down in the description. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. More camera and lens content coming up soon, I promise you. Thanks for sticking with the channel. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.